Hello everyone, Mr. Hendo here. Today we're going to replace the master cylinder of my 2004 Cadillac DeVille, but this uh, really applies to any car that uses a master cylinder, which is all cars. So what is a master cylinder? A master cylinder is a component that uh, is connected to the, your, your uh, brake fluid reservoir that allows the pressure that is applied from the brake pedal to stay put against the brake calipers to stop your car. Uh, there, it's a simple little design inside of it. There's like a plunger piston uh, rod assembly and if your seal goes bad it can allow your uh, brake fluid to get past that and then loosen up the amount of force you have applied to your brake calipers. So uh, look at the pictures above. You'll see that the, the, as you press the brake the master cylinder switches, stops the brake fluid from coming back to the reservoir, up to the reservoir, and keeps the uh, appropriate amount of pressure uh, applied via the brake pedal to the brake caliper. So if you have a, a faulty master cylinder, uh, you, uh, you, that's where you get the symptom of your brake pedal going all the way to the floor because you're, as you're pressing the brake, the extra brake fluid is pushing back through the, through the uh, failure and going back to the reservoir. So it doesn't uh, aid in your stopping and therefore uh, that's how you get the uh, the brake pedal that you press it and it'll go all the way to the floor. Normally if you're everything in your system's working correctly the when you press the brake pedal it'll it'll stop eventually as you can't push anymore because the brake fluid is is compressed to the max. So uh, faulty brake faulty brake master cylinder will uh, one of the major symptoms is your brake pedal going all the way to the floor. You may or may still be able to stop in my case, I was still able to stop once it went all the way to the floor, but uh, that was just a sign it needed to be replaced. So I went on Amazon and ordered one for about $87. Uh, with tax, it was about $92. Uh, Dorman, uh, obviously, you know, Amazon has the option where you could type in, or you could select your, your car model, and it'll tell you if it's compatible or not. So we'll see if, if it holds true. So I just got it in the mail today. Haven't opened it up yet. We're gonna open this up, look at it, uh, I'll show you all the tools we're gonna need. It should take about I don't know 20 minutes, and then what you have to do is you don't have to you don't have to bleed your whole brake system, but you you do have to bleed out your uh, air from the uh, the master cylinder. So so if you didn't know what bleeding the brakes means, it means removing the air that's trapped in the system because uh, if you have air, air is compressible. So if you have air in your system and you go to apply the brakes, it makes it so that it's uh, it's harder to do that. So we're going to pop the hood. Well, I'm going to open this up first. We're going to look at it. Uh, if you notice, this is, was delivered by UPS, Next Day Air. I ordered it a couple days ago. It was supposed to be here on Monday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, it didn't show up on Monday. I called Amazon. Uh, turns out that uh, they shipped it on yesterday. So they Next Day aired it. I actually got it today. So it was pretty, pretty good. So we're going to open this up. It weighs only a couple pounds. So here's the package. It says Dorman M630326, new master cylinder. I didn't want to destroy the box, but I guess I'm going to. So right off the bat, it's got some, uh, looks like some plugs there, in case I want to plug it up. And uh, here it is. So this is the new master cylinder. So here's a, so this is where it's going to connect into your your vacuum booster, uh, which the vacuum boost, booster essentially what that does is it makes it so that uh, you don't have to apply so much pressure to your uh, to your brake pedal to stop the car. Because if you think about it, and you were actually rolling and you tried to stop without just by itself it would take a lot of pressure to to uh, to stop the to stop your car especially if you're going like let's 70 miles per hour however the uh the vacuum booster takes engine vacuum and it uh it helps to uh, alleviate some of that required pressure so that's what that does so this connects into that and then you have your two brake hoses that go supply the whole system and then you have your 
Uh, you have your module here for the brake fluid sensor, so that way if, you're, if it's getting low, you can get your electronic alarm saying, fill me up. And then here's the tank we're gonna fill up. So let's go ahead and pop the trunk. And install this bad boy. See how long it takes me. All right, here's the old master cylinder here. Uh, another good indication that you you uh, that it's your master cylinder that needs to be replaced is if you don't have any leaks anywhere else in your system. So I've already checked for leaks. As you can, t if you you probably can't see this, but my uh, my reservoir is pretty full there. So uh, if you have leaks in your brake line. That could also cause a similar kind of problem because as you press the uh, as you press the brakes and uh, the brake fluid will leak out wherever that leak is and it will cause your pedal to just keep going because it's not a, it's the same kind of concept. The only difference is a bad master cylinder the the excess brake fluid goes back up into the reservoir, whereas a bad uh, a leak in the actual system the the brake fluid will go out somewhere else. So it looks like I have two bolts one, two, and then the brake lines themselves here. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna unscrew these, remove this, uh, put the new one in, fill it up, and bleed it, and hopefully that solves our problem. Okay, so uh, what I'm, I'm gonna show you how what we're doing on this one while we do it on on the one that's currently installed. So first I'm gonna remove the connector from the car to the reservoir, and then I'm gonna re remove our two brake lines. So these are actually just uh, uh, foreign material exclusion little plugs. See that? So. I'll keep this in there for now. But I'm gonna remove the two lines here. And then once those are removed, I'm gonna remove the two bolts here and I'm just gonna pull it out, put the new one in, and uh, see how she does. Looks almost exactly the same. Something special for this project that I picked up are these, uh, it's a three-piece three flare nut wrench set. So you can see uh, this design so that way if there's a line, like brake line, you could you could put this wrench on the line and then bring it up to the bolt and turn it so uh, these work out really well I'll put a link in the description if you want to purchase these you really don't need these but uh, makes it easier and they're good tools to have later on so again this is a uh, great neck three-piece flare nut wrench set SAE uh, and yeah so these will be in the description if you are interested in that All right, as I remove the old uh, brake line from the old master cylinder, once I remove it, I'm gonna place one of these, uh, these caps in there so that way the, all the fluid doesn't leak out everywhere. So I'm gonna remove these two lines. Each one after I remove, I'm gonna place this on there. Be careful where you get the brake fluid too because uh, from what I've heard it'll eat up paint so if you're worried about the uh, paint in your car or paint on the exterior do not let it get onto that paint. All right, so as you can see, here's the old uh, reservoir. I've removed one brake line there and put the FME cover in there. And here's the other brake line I removed, put this cover on, and now I'm gonna remove this bolt here and then the same matching bolt on the other side. 
kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll try to edit that so I can zoom in. So once those come off, I should be able to just pop this thing out, put the new one in, and retighten everything up. All right, so I had to use my uh, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh uh, 15 millimeter socket for the two base mounts, uh, bolts. So I'll put a link for, to this in the description. All right, I got my uh, <clears throat> Craftsman wrench, ratchet, socket, socket wrench. I have an adapter because this uh, 15 millimeter I'm using is a uh, half inch drive. The reason I'm using this is because it's super long, just like a, uh, you need that extra room for a spark plug. The, the regular small one won't cut it, and it'll hit against the bolt. So now, put this all together, and I, again, I'll put all these in the links. Uh, I'll put all these uh, uh, items in a link in the description. So make sure it's in the reverse. Let's go ahead and remove this thing. I can. I got the first bolt off. One more, and we're almost done. Get the other side here. Okay, the other bolt's about off. There's the other bolt. Now I'm gonna try to carefully remove this. All right, there's the old one. All right, so let's compare the two. Here's the new one, here's the old one. Looks about the same on this side. Looks about the same on that side. Make sure your pins, uh, that's another important step is make sure your pins are shaped the same because you don't want to put this in and then it turned out that you had the wrong pins, which uh, depending on your, depending on your, depending on your type of car, it all, uh, you might not be able to start it up or something. You know, new cars these days have their superior electronic system. So I'm gonna put this in and then put the bolts in and uh, tighten everything back up. So slide this bad boy in there. Fit it in. I'm gonna go put the bolts back on. Make sure they're nice and tight. Switch this to the clockwise, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Be patient, this is gonna take a while while you screw these in. The point is that you wanna make sure that they're you get them, you get them hand tight, and then you get one hand tight, switch to the other side, get that one hand tight, and then you could start start tightening them to lift to more than hand tight. Alright, now this one's tight. I'm going to give it, tighten it a little bit more. Okay. Tighten this one, the opposite side again. Okay, tighten this one back a little bit more, tighten the right one, okay, tighten the left one, alright, 
Okay, that's on there. Now I'm gonna reinstall the... So I just tightened these on. Now I'm gonna reinstall the, uh, the actual lines back into where they go. So take off your little FME protector. Place your place your line in and just screw it back together. Okay, get my uh, nine sixteenths, I think we said. Make sure those are nice and tight. Okay, so uh, new master cylinder is installed. I'm gonna look at the cap here. It says use only dot three. Uh, fill to line, do not overflow. So fill this up the rest of the way. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> I got the car keys. I'm gonna uh, start it up and uh, see how the brake pedal feels. Let me tie my shoe and then I'm gonna show you how to bleed this thing. So I have the brake all the way to the floor and the baseball bat is uh, holding against it, against the seat. So when I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go loosen those two brake line uh, um, bolts or whatever and then it's going to release the pressure and then I'm going to shut them and then I'll refill the uh, master cylinder if needed. So I'll bring you back over there. <laughs> 